Hello everyone, today we are going to see a design of non-isolated DC to DC converters and control techniques for renewable energy applications. For that, you, uh, today we are going to discuss about a Q converter. Here, uh, the non-isolated DC to DC converters we are going to see. Here, isolation describes the electrical separation between the input and output of a DC to DC converter. The DC to DC converter imported in various fields like um, electric vehicles and also uh, to get the high voltage gain applications and also uh, fuel cell and uh, solar PV systems uh, for unidirectional uh, requirement of Q, uh, Q to Q um, converters and also this Q, Q uh, converter for battery fed electric vehicles are required to function in two different modes called acceleration mode and um, uh, braking mode. Braking mode is uh, regenerating mode. Uh, during this uh, acceleration and uh, normal mode, the power flow is from battery to motor whereas uh, during braking or rege regenerative mode, the kinetic energy of the motor is converted into electrical energy and fed back to the battery. For that, uh, this Q converter is non-isolated DC to DC converter, it is called Q converter, is more useful. Uh, also, an isolated DC to DC converter uses a transformer to eliminate the DC path between the uh, input and outputs. In contrast, uh, we are uh, de designed with uh, MATLAB, that is a non-isolated DC to DC converter has DC path between its input and output. The need for bidirectional DC to DC converter is uh, this battery fed electric vehicles is due to the following reasons. For example, to get the high efficiency and lightweight in compact, uh, and compact size compact size and uh, lower electromagnetic interference and also controlled power flow uh, in spite of wide input variations. For that, uh, the Q converter is uh, utilized. Here, uh, this is the simple exam, uh, um, simple di diagram shows the Q converter. Here, the Q converter allows energy to flow uh, bidirectionally. This is the important one. It allows energy to flow bidirectionally by using a diode and a switch. Here, Q converter is basically a bus converter followed by a buck converter. For that reason only, uh, for this bidirectional um, application, uh, we are using with um, uh, renewable energy source and also DC to DC converters uh, for um, electric vehicles. Here, the circuit shows the simple uh, description about uh, this Q converter. Uh, here, uh, this Q converter is utilized for voltage regulation and power factor, power factor connection in numerous applications and uh, suitable for uh, especially for low power applications. It uses capacitors for power transfer and uh, energy storage and non-linear relationship between duty cycle and output voltage. Here this, this capacitor uh, C1 is used to transfer the energy. The two inductors L1 and L2 are used to convert uh, the input voltage uh, Vs and the output, uh, output uh, voltage source uh, V1 into current sources. This is the important uh, um, functions of these two inductors. Okay, this is a, what is the operating principle of uh, non-isolated Q converters. Here you can see the polarity is inverted in comparison to the input with the less switching losses and better efficiency. And uh, another application is a voltage boosting. Voltage boosting is concerned with the on off and uh, on, on time and off time period for uh, the control switch. The control switch here this one control switch. Uh, during on time period the switch capacitor discharges while inductance store the uh, stores the energy similarly uh, during off time period of a switch so that the diode is in conduction mode and uh, starts delivering the current here the capacitor used to ch uh, used as an energy storage component while other topologies usually use inductors as an energy store uh, storage components instead of capacitor here uh, these are all two modes are uh, operating modes are concerned for um, uh, non isolated Q, Q converters this is the first mode and this is the second mode. The two, uh, the, uh, two operating states of non isolated Q converter is shown here. Here in this figure, the diode and switch are uh, re replaced by a short circuit when they are on, on or by an open circuit when they are off. The next one, it can be seen that uh, when, it is, when it is in off state, the capacitor C is being charged by the input source. Uh, through the inductor L1. Uh, when, the, when in the on state, the capacitor C transfer the energy to the output capacitor through the inductance L2. These are two operating modes, these are continuous mode and discontinuous mode. 
okay let us see how to design uh, the cube converter with matlabs and simulink uh, this ma uh, this simulink diagram shows the operation of non isolated cube converter in this example the converter is feeding 50 watts uh, load from a 12 volt uh, source and the pwm frequency is set to 50 kilohertz ccr the non non isolated cube converter is a dc to dc power converter that like a bug bus converter and also it can produce an output that is a v out Output uh, magnitude is either greater or less than the input voltage uh, V in magnitude. Okay, these scopes are given here. Uh, based on that, by, by using MATLAB uh, uh, Sim, uh, Simscape library, we can uh, get these components and also cons construct the uh, design of uh, Q converter. Okay, this is a similar. This is the descript small description about the Simlink diagram. The non-isolated Q converter is a DC to bus power converter that like a bug boost converter it also can produce the output voltage magnitude that is either greater or less than in the input voltage however it is an inverter converter uh, so the output voltage is opposite polarity with respect to the input voltage in the Q converter topology the capacitor C1 act as a primary means of storing and also it's, uh, it's transferring the energy from the input to the output what is the main advantage of uh, this converter is both input current IL1 and the current feeding to the output stage IL2 are reasonably ripple free. This is an important application of uh, this converter uh, ripple free. Okay, the, unlike the bug booster, bug booster uh, gives the ripples, it has ripples. Unlike the bug booster converter where both these currents are highly discontinuous. For example, assuming this example, um, assuming a constant voltage across C1, the theoretical transfer function of Q converter is V out divided by V in equal to uh, negative polarity of uh, uh, minus of d by 1 minus d here where d denotes the duty cycle for in this example the converter is feeding 50 watts load from the 12 watt source and the pwm frequency is set to 50 kilohertz here this is our pwm uh, general free frequency you are set here 50 kilohertz okay now this is our output uh, after simulation we will get this output you can run the simulation you can observe uh, this type of waveforms on the scope here we can verify the mean value for the load voltage that is a V out is very close to the theoretical value of uh, this is uh, uh, d, d minus of d uh, divided by 1 minus d minus of d divided by 1 minus d into 12 okay here we are 12 volts the 12 volt source in this manner we can get the output like minus 5 volt here here we can see uh, this is our output V out indicates minus 0.24 and uh, 1 minus 0 0.294 multiplication of your voltage 12 so my, is my final answer is minus 5 volt we can by using this simulation tools uh, we can uh, see the trace selection we can see the cursor measurement you can see the signal statistic and also find the peak finder okay now let us see uh, with the simulation okay this is our uh, pwm generator this is our d value where black parameters the con the constant gives the constant values of 0 0.294 what we discussed before okay d value this is a d duty cycle value here this is a dc to dc pwm generator um, this is a uh, output output here yeah, yeah, a pulse uh, to the electronic switch of one quadrant dc to dc converter here the d to cycle input d determine the percentage of uh, pulse period that uh, input input is when is on here we are setting the switching frequency that is a 50 kilohertz 50 e3 50 kilohertz we are uh, sim, uh, applying with this MOSFET here this MOSFET mask and uh, MOSFET and the internal diode in parallel uh, with a series RC number circuit this is a series RC number circuit it has uh, when a gate signal is applied here when a gate signal is applied to the MOSFET conducts and acts uh, act as a resistance that is R on in both directions okay here next one the diode the diode marks implements the uh, diode in parallel with the this RC series of snubber circuit and also we can put this resistance value of uh, 1 kilowatts 1, uh, 1 kilo ohms and also forward voltage you can say, see here also you can see uh, snubber resistance and snubber capacitance you can apply uh, which are requirement okay then afterwards the voltage measurement block and scope blocks are there after uh, running the simulation we will getting this type of output Okay, for, for, the, I am, uh, for, for example, we are seeing this is where it shows a V out. This is from IF, 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 IFT value and this is our LS, this is our I1 and I, uh, L1. I mean, this is a yellow line shows us IL1, this is our IL2. 
current from the index uh, indexes L1, L1 and current from the index in L2. This is your uh, IS value. Based on that, you can um, see the IFT value. For example, trace selection, IFT, I want to know about this IFT value. You can see with this trace selection value. You can see these are L1 value. Why did I say L1 value? You can see the uh, trace selection value IL1. This is our IL2 value. These are IL2. And this also you can find uh, find out what is the um, amplitude edges edges is 4 and rise time 94.265 microsecond and sleeve rate 6.17 millisecond so that's a lot of uh, measurements can be done also you can see the overshoot and under, under shoots option is also there in cycles uh, there's a measurement it shows the signal statistics it's a maximum peak and um, peak to peak voltage and mean radiance all things is possible with this uh, scope uh, with this MATLAB I hope uh, you can see uh, this value is shown. Uh, this is the main value of the load voltage Vout is co close to the relative value of 0 0.294 and that's a minus 5 volt. <coughs> Easily you can see some minus 5 volt. Also, uh, you can refer uh, with this one. Okay, this is our output, it shows. V out value. I hope uh, this is a uh, quick inventory is important for um, uh, both electrical vehicle applications and also for uh, renewable energy sources applications. Thanks for watching. Thank you.